I thought I should build on my last video, which was six reasons to stay away from New Zealand, with a few more reasons you should definitely not come to New Zealand. It is a great place, but it's definitely not for everyone. So New Zealand is not for you if you enjoy figuring out how much tip to leave on your average meal. 10%, 15%, 18%, maybe 20%. If you love the stress and the anxiety creating by figuring out the exact percentage of tip to leave relative to your bill, don't come to New Zealand. There's no tipping. You just get the bill, you walk to the counter and you pay it. Yeah, so you should definitely not come to New Zealand if you don't like that relaxing kind of experience. The second reason not to come to New Zealand is perhaps the most important one. If you have, if you think that your presence on social media is at all important, you should not come to New Zealand. Now let me explain why. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna come to the country and you're gonna go somewhere, pretty much anywhere, and you're gonna take this picture and you're gonna go, hashtag most beautiful place I ever saw, hashtag beautiful New Zealand, and you're gonna post that. Okay, cool. But then tomorrow, you're gonna go somewhere else and guess what? that's gonna be the most beautiful place you ever saw. And you're gonna go, hashtag, most beautiful place I ever saw, hashtag. And then day three, you're gonna find another place. And that's gonna be, hashtag, the most beautiful place I ever saw. And right there, your social media credence down the drain. Because which one is it? Now I go through your pictures on social media and you've told me three different places are the most beautiful place you ever saw. So now I think you're a liar or you're confused, or you're just wishy-washy. So definitely not a good place for you to come if you want your credibility on social media to stay intact. Also, if you love selfies, let me be honest with you, New Zealand is way more beautiful than you are. So, you know, you don't wanna lower your self-esteem, just stay home, don't come to New Zealand. A third reason not to come to New Zealand is if you can't handle a woman being in charge because you know, they got Jacinda here as the prime minister. I have to say, I know there's varying opinions of her leadership as in every country. I can only speak as a foreigner here during COVID. I think she's done a stellar job protecting us from COVID. But if you don't like a woman being in charge, then New Zealand's probably not a good place for you. Another reason to consider not coming to New Zealand is if you like bad watered down coffee, the coffee in New Zealand, especially the flat whites, man, they're awesome. They're like super strong, the perfect ratio of coffee to milk. And so if you like that kind of like watered down Dunkin' Donuts, like that kind of thing, you are not gonna be happy in New Zealand because you just won't be able to find the right cup of coffee and you shouldn't come. Also, if you wanted to have said cup of coffee at like five, six, seven o'clock at night, don't come to New Zealand because they believe in work-life balance and it's kind of hard to find a coffee shop that's open after three o'clock. So if you can't live without either making your own cup of coffee or getting your coffee before three in the afternoon, probably shouldn't come to New Zealand. Another reason you should definitely not come to New Zealand is if you're a lazy couch potato and just want to sit around and watch TV all day. First off, let me say, sorry, New Zealand, but the selection of TV shows here, not great. So you're going to be kind of disappointed. Maybe if you have Netflix or something, you'll do better. But the other thing is like, there's just like everywhere you go, you just want to hike it. You just want to walk it. It's, it's a very outdoor place. Everyone's out there walking, running, doing all this stuff. And you're going to feel like a lot of pressure to get up off that couch and do something active. So if that bothers you, please don't come to New Zealand. The final reason that you should consider not coming to New Zealand is if you don't like nature. Like everywhere you go in New Zealand, there is greenness, there's beautiful, beautiful trees and plants and it's, you know, there's permaculture everywhere and lovely uses that the, you know, the different people have for medicinal qualities and uh, just herbs and eating and using and if that just annoys the crap out of you and you just want those like city pavements and you know no wildlife and no green trees and nothing like don't come to New Zealand because you're just going to go crazy with how much greenery and nature there is all around you.
One more reason that you should consider not coming to New Zealand. If you're that kind of person that just thrives on the danger of some big animal beast that could potentially kill you, mm, not so much New Zealand, because I don't think there is any animal here that would actually kill you. So it's just kind of peaceful, hey man, and animals that, you know, kind of making sure that your cats don't eat the kiwi birds. So yeah, you might be kind of bored in New Zealand if, if you need that kind of like animal ferociousness and the risk that if you camp somewhere, some big animal might eat you or yell at you and make you run in fear. Once again, if it wasn't clear, this is a total tongue in cheek, sarcastic video because like I've said before, I can't really think of too many reasons not to come to New Zealand, but I just wanted to put those out there in case maybe some of you, you know, had, you needed your expectations set. So hopefully you got a laugh at this playful take on why you should come to New Zealand. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and I will catch you on the next video, which you are more likely to find out about if you hit the bell to be notified when that comes out. See you then.